story to read to go with your wonderful art that you'll be making with Katie from ATFD. So today, your art project is going to be painting some bones. So I thought we would read a book about a dog who really liked to, to dig and maybe he'll find some bones too. So this book is called A Dog Named Doug and it's by Carmel Wilson and illustrated by Matt Myers. Let's see, let's see what Doug is up to. Once there was a dog named Doug. Doug liked to dig, but when Doug dug, dug, let's see, when Doug dug, oh boy, did Doug dig. Oh my goodness, look at all of the things he's dug up. Do you see any bones? I see a toaster. There's a toaster over here. Oh, there's one bone. You can see one bone kind of by his doghouse. Let's see, what else does he dig? Once Doug dug up a ground squirrel's nest, the feisty squirrel was not impressed. I can dig better than you, said the squirrel. Doug howled with laughter. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> what do you think? Is Doug gonna do better than the ground squirrel? So they started to race, but Doug dug faster. He proved that he was the digging master. Look at him go, whoa, whoa. <laughs> With his nose down low, the dirt flew high. Clumps hit the cat as Doug sauntered by. So when he saunters, that means he's kind of, he's walking, but he's walking, he knows he's cool, he knows he won the race, so kind of an exaggerated swagger walk. Many miles of dirt dug dug, leaving heaps and piles and mounds of mud. Boy, must be a muddy dog. And ruts so deep and holes so wide that a giant tractor fell inside. Oh my goodness, look at that gigantic hole. I don't know if the farmer's that happy. <laughs> and boy, did dog dig. He dug to the east, and he dug to the west. He dug his way to a treasure chest with about a million dollars inside. Doug smiled wide, then tossed it aside. Oh my goodness, I don't think I could toss that big chest of a million dollars away. What about you? Let's see. He dug his way past an old gold mine, taking no heed of the danger sign. Uh-oh. And oh boy, did Doug dig. He dug to the north, he dug to the south. There was grit in his eyes and sand in his mouth. But Doug kept scratching and scratching on till his head popped up on the White House lawn. Oh my goodness, he's gonna go visit the president. Let's see where he digs. He took the tour, he saw the sights, then decided he'd better go home for the night. So Doug got busy digging and look where he's digging, right under the president's desk. The president looks a little scared. I think I'd be a little scared too. He went right through the floor. And so Doug got busy digging and oh boy, did Doug dig. Look at him go. So he's heading home now and dig. Goodness, look at all the places he's digging. And dig, I think he might be a little lost. He maybe he went to Africa with the lion and then he went to Hollywood. You can see the, the star there and a bowling alley, and maybe even Easter Island. You can see the statue there, the head, Easter Island head. And dig, and dig, where is he going now? Oh my goodness, look at all these places. I think he even dug his way to the top of Mount Everest here. That must be quite a feat. And dig, oh my goodness, where is he?
okay now. Whoa. Maybe he dug his way to China. Do you think he'll ever get home? <gasps> he did. At home, the, his family scolded him hard. They said, Doug, stop digging holes in the yard. But they fed him a bone and gave him a hug and then tucked him in bed with a good night, Doug. Is it time to go to bed or maybe dig one more hole? Hmm. But still, Doug, Doug, where do you think he's going now? Look at his, his hole is right from, right from his doghouse here and he's going boop, 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 all the way down, all the way down there and into the house. Doug settled into his cozy bed with visions of marvelous, marvelous holes in his head. Doug had a dream. He was digging. And boy, did Doug, what do you think he's going to do in his dream? Dig! Oh my goodness, he's even dr dreaming of digging holes on another planet. The end. Thank you so much for reading the story with me, and I hope you have a lot of fun painting your dog bones or your dinosaur bones or whatever you can imagine your bones can be. And maybe you can get inspired by his visit to another planet and decide what kind of colors you want to paint your bone. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.